and uh, welcome to an explanation of how the wings allocation calculator works. Uh, as many of you may notice, we had a allocation based on uh, different amounts for the different kind of the five coins. So there's a seventy percent of the wings for the the donation crowdfund or allocated towards BTC. Fifteen percent of the of the of the seventy five million wings are allocated towards Ether or Ethereum, 6% towards Ethereum Classic, 5% toward Ripple, and 4% toward Litecoin. So one of the confusing things around this with the interface was uh, when someone donated one BTC, for example, they would get uh, a different amount of wings um, than they would get Ether in the, in the, estimation, uh, in the estimated wings. And so the estimated wings uh, are the, the number of wings that someone would get that includes their bonus, the time-based bonus, and how much they put in uh, versus how much already has been donated for that particular coin. So what we did to make this easier was to create this estimation uh, allocation calculator. And so what you would do here is, for example, you would take uh, one, put in one here for one Bitcoin and that would show that that right now, based on the number of bitcoins given and uh, the bonus and such, uh, that that allocation estimate would be three thousand. I'm sorry, thirty-three thousand four hundred forty-three wings. Now, these calculations rely on the current total of funds collected under that bitcoin bucket. So, if there's more funds that are collected, uh, donated in the next, uh, let's say, two weeks, that the crowdfund is going on for. Uh, that number, that estimation number, will change, but for now, it'll it'll at least give you that number for what what which one is the optimum one that you might want to put in, so that you can maximize the the number the allocation of wings that you have. And so, for example, we're going to start here with this one Bitcoin, right? So that's thirty three thousand wings, and I'm going to go to our favorite exchange here, Poloniex, and click on F. And we got F here, and I'm going to just put in one BTC right there. So right now, one BTC gets me 105 Ether, and I can put that in here, paste that in, and zero that out. Click Estimate Tokens, and I can see that for this, because there's an imbalance here, that I actually would get allocated a higher number, well, the estimate is a higher number, than if I were just to use Bitcoin. And so let's take a look at Ethereum Classic. So I'm gonna go back over here and click on ETC. That's gonna take me to the Ethereum Classic page. And what I'm gonna do again is I'm going to just put one BTC here and I'm gonna get this number 683 Ether Classics. So I'm gonna put that back in there zero out the ether and click estimate tokens and ha wow look at that i can uh <laughs> i would get an allocation of over 200,000 uh 200,000 208,606 to be exact uh, for ether classic and so how to the little cheat sheet here is you see this circle here this circle is full that means that this is the baseline so this is at, let's say, 100% of its allocation. And relative to Bitcoin, Ether seems to be at about, let's say that's about 45%. Ether Classics probably at, that's let's say 10%. Ripple is at about, maybe that's 8%. Litecoin is, let's say, maybe that's 15%. So, so theoretically, what should happen if I, if I got this right, is that when we come back to Poloniex and we click on Ripple XRP, and we're gonna put in one BTC in here, and we're gonna get 122,850 ripples. And so we're gonna put that in here. Zero out the Ether Classic. And as you can see, that two 240,000 wings is the estimated allocation. So basically the reason why is because um, that Ripple is is currently um, 
is is underfunded. And actually, what you could see here, if you want to get a little clever, is that you could see how much it's underfunded. So let's say we put in a, well, that would be a, yeah, it looks like it's about, let's say 105.000. Uh, May have broken it. So let's see if I get this right again. Let's see, nine, 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 nine. Okay, so that's uh, how many nines is that? It appears that Ripple is underfunded by about, it looks like 10. 10 million ripples. Yes, so about 10 million. So we go back here and nine five. Yep. So about 10 million ripples are underfunded compared relative to Bitcoin. So now uh, you can see which one is the the correct one as far as the, the, the highest allocation for the donated funds. And by doing this, you're really helping out Wings Foundation because the reason why we did this, and it may seem a bit confusing to folks, is that we wanted to, A, we wanted to try out how it would work to be able to use multiple currencies to fund a project. We also, while there are third parties out there that will happily take your Ether, or Ripple, or Litecoin, or Bitcoin, converted to US dollars, and that sort of thing. Now, we really believe in decentralization, and we don't want to, uh, you know, when people trust us with the Litecoin or Bitcoin that they may have been holding for a long time, um, and donate it to the organization, we don't want to go and turn it around and just uh, sell it for US dollars, or Euros, or whatever, right? Um, we're all about decentralization, we're all about supporting the ecosystem. And so we wanted to support these other coins and because also we may be using them in the future. Uh, Ether and Ether Classic, obviously we would like to eventually have Wings integrate with um, those blockchains. So people uh, launching DAOs have a choice uh, whether they want to pick Bitcoin and Rootstock or Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. Uh, one of the reasons why we picked Ripple was because uh, Ripple has the uh, inter-ledger protocol. And so that is one of the technologies that we're considering and using to, um, to again, allow uh, to get information for donations that are given or uh, money that is sent into a particular crowdfunding, uh, a DAO that is crowdfunding, and if they want to use, again, multiple coins. Uh, and Litecoin, we wanted to support because it's been stable for a long time. It's been around. Uh, it, you know, obviously it hasn't gone up a lot lately, but it neither has gone down. So we wanted some stability uh, in case Bitcoin goes down. The, usually the alts will go up. If the alts go down, Bitcoin goes up. And so this kind of gives the organization um, some stability and also ensures that we don't really have to go to third parties or uh, convert to fiat or stuff like that that we're, as an organization, really not that interested in doing, unless, of course, there's a bill that we have to pay and absolutely has to be done in euros or Swiss francs or whatever. Um, anyhow, so I hope that explains it all. And if you do have any questions and how this functions, what you could do or have, have any problems, what you would do is um, click here and fill this out. And one other thing, that's important here that I'm just going to mention is that when you, uh, for example, use Shapeshift, that will always convert over to Bitcoin. So for now, if, if, you're, if you have, for example, StoreJ and you want to take advantage of, of the underfunding in Ripple or Ether Classic, 
what you really should do is uh, go to your exchange or to uh, a company like Changely, for example, or or Shapeshift, and do it there, and then make a uh, donation deposit through uh, through one of these five right here after you've uh, you've changed over the coin. So I hope that uh, that helps. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, to sign in here and post your question. Thank you very much and have a great day.